I have to say, when I read that and was seeing more and more violence in the classroom, we're seeing more and more abuse of teachers, but for a maths teacher to be stabbed by a pupil, what is going on? I know I've put a tweet out today. <coughs> Who is to blame? Is this parental responsibility, teachers' responsibility, the pupils themselves? What's going on? Well, I think to start with, children are only in school six and a half, seven hours a day maximum. So, you know, the other 18 hours of the day are with parents. And I think, you know, parents need to set out their stall as far as behavioural expectations. That's where it starts. But schools need to have very firm policies and procedures. It's absolutely awful what happened there. Um, you know, as soon as I saw it on the news, I just couldn't believe what I was actually hearing. And I think we have to have a very firm hand. We need backup from the government to ensure that pupils staff and parents are, you know, are safe and meeting the expectations for the children to be able to learn in school because at the moment there's too much low level as well as extreme behaviour going on. Well, in the poll you put out, Esther, uh, four and a half thousand people voted in it asking who was most responsible for the lack of discipline in schools uh, and the vote was 78% parents... 15% teachers and 7% children themselves. Does that surprise you? Yeah, I think, you know, the, at the end of the day, they are children and children need firm boundaries and they go through a very difficult stage in their life growing up. And so, therefore, we as adults have to take responsibility in nurturing that and that starts at home as well. But in school, we have to have firm policies and procedures and I think there are some times where the problems are or where those procedures are not in place so that you can escalate the sanctions and ensure that the rest of your school community is safe. We've got uh, views coming in from our viewers and that is that um, they actually say the government's at fault here for getting rid of smacking and discipline and stopping any form of, of, of caning or corporal punishment at school. Both Jane and Andy sent that in. Would you be happy to go back to corporal punishment? No. Violence breeds violence. Do you think that? I do. Really? Because we've got yeah. violence now without no. violence. I've, I've we've never got to raise my hand to anybody, never mind a child. And I think the day that comes, I'll hang up my mortarboard. Because